Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm going to kick today's video off by adding some wall art. It's not necessarily art, but it's, it's cute. And then we're going to be bringing in a side table and we'll decorate the top of it, bringing a cozy factor. So today I'm bringing back some pieces that I had used in my, on my big home, the one with the dual staircase. And I'm doing things a little bit different with these pieces. And you know, I, I never use these pieces in the log home because the, the color of the wood did not look well on, on logs. <laughs> Black accents looked really, really good in the log home or, or white, like a, a really good strong contrast, but this just looked horrendous. But it, I think it's gonna look good here. So this is like my opportunity to kind of bring it back, but do something a little different. Now these two pieces I'm gonna show you are from Hobby Lobby. I made them my own at the other house and I'll show you how. I had this in the family room. We had a two-story family room. I had two of these on either side of the television. And the way I made this my own is I went to Hobby Lobby and I looked for some hooks. I found these uh, hooks and I you know, drilled into the wood and I thought I'm gonna hang a beautiful lantern with an LED flameless flickering candle that comes with a remote. So at night, if we're watching a TV or we have company, I can just click it on because I'm all about ambiance. So you may remember these. I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They're similar in color and I thought I'll hang this from the hook add an LED flameless flickering candle and it will be gorge, gorgeous. Now in my other home, I had these spaced apart. Like I said, t large TV was in the middle and then I had a shelf above the TV and uh, I loved it. But my space is limited in this smaller home. So I'm gonna place these close together, hang the lanterns, add the side table, and then we'll get busy decorating. That's how it looks. There's the first one. I'm gonna add the second one real close and then we're gonna put the table right under here. All right, let's hang the second one. And there you have it. I think it looks really cute. It's going to look even cuter once I hang these. Easy peasy, add the candles, and then I'll slide the table over and we'll start decorating the top of the table. So now I'm going to add my flameless flickering candles. I'll link them below in case you're new and you'd like to get some, but I love these. And with the lights off, that's how the candles look. Just a nice, subtle glow. There's a better shot for you, but now I'm gonna go get my little rustic uh, whitewash sort of uh, farmhouse table and we'll push it right underneath there. Okay, now we have the table in place. I purchased this from Home Goods years ago. I love it because it's very farmhousey and it didn't come with the baskets. I actually purchased those at Home Goods and put them in there because I liked the color and the texture. We have our cute wall art that I made my own just by simply adding hooks and then placing the candle sconces on there and it gives it a very interesting look. So here's what it looks like now. And now we're gonna make it cute. So I know signs are sort of phasing out, but I, I still love them, I do. And I found this one at um, a place in town called Star Furniture, and, and I just grabbed it. I didn't know where I was gonna put it, 
But, um, and then once I got it here, I thought, oh, I don't wanna put it on the wall. So this is what I've decided to do. But anyway, look how cute this sign is. It's super heavy. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. And you know, sometimes when words resonate with you, it's it's just a good reminder. I just, I love it. When I look at it, it just, it's like, I just think of my family. So what I'm gonna do is sit it on the table and just lean it right on, just kind of right underneath those candle sconces, you'll see. Um, before I place it, I wanted to look on the back because I know some people may like it as well and they'll ask and so I just wanted to address it real quick. I, I looked on the back and it says made in the heart of Amish country. And I have to tell you, Amish products are so well made, so beautifully crafted and it's made in America. So that's a plus. It looks like they have a website, so I'm gonna screenshot the sticker, and then if you guys like it or you wanna see what other products they may offer, you can go to the website. Maybe they ship, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna go check that out now that I know they have a website, so that's pretty cool. And I will tell you it was a little spendy, but it I really feel it was worth it because it is, it is really, really good quality. It's heavy, it's, look at this. Look at this nice, beautiful wood frame. Ooh, like I said, it is heavy. Quick, funny story. So the week we moved into this house, we were trying to get to our house, but we were blocked by this huge forklift. And it was uh, lifting a bunch of lumber up to the second portion of the house next door. And so I thought, oh, we're gonna be here a while, uh, Let's just be patient and we'll just watch what they're doing. So, um, something caught my eye up on top of the roof and I look up there and there's a gentleman standing on top of the roof with a push broom pushing snow off the roof. But what really caught my attention was his attire. So he was wearing black dress slacks, black dress shoes, a white dress shirt, a black vest, a black jacket, like a, a suit jacket and a black hat. It didn't register up here at first. All I could think was, well, my goodness, what is that man doing up there all dressed up? What is he doing up there? I was fascinated by it. And then around the corner of the house came another man dressed identically to him. And then another one, and then another one, and then another one and they were congregating and talking about stuff. And I thought, I noticed they all had the uh, the beards, the same beards. And I thought, well, my goodness, the Amish are building this house. How cool is that? I've, I've just, I know they do amazing workmanship, but I, I've never seen them in home communities building homes. So I was fascinated by it, absolutely fascinated. I thought, how in the world, can they work the way they do and work so hard with jackets and soup? Like they were all dressed up and here they were pounding and it's like the clothes didn't even bother them. Like I would have been like, get this jacket off of me. You know, <laughs> like if I was hammering and lifting and pulling things and um, yeah, I would have been like jacket off, but no, these, these men were dressed nice and working as hard as, you can imagine. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the reason that I just thought of that is because the back of the picture said Amish. So anyway, I just had to share that. Have any of you guys seen the movie For Richer or Poorer? Cute movie. If you haven't seen it, uh, you should watch it. Okay, back to decorating. You know me, squirrel. Okay, so let me tell you what I like. I like the contrast with the darker wood. I like that it's center stage. I love that when you walk into the house, it's it's a beautiful sign that actually means something. So there you have it. Now let's add ambiance. 
Let's add some lights and some texture by adding a garland. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is add a little farmhouse flare with these two cute pedestals. Now, I will tell you, when I found these at Home Goods, they had them displayed as tiered trays. They kind of had them like this, and then they had an, a third one. I personally don't like to do tiered trays. I'm just not good at them. I don't know why. I find them sort of overwhelming because you have to buy a lot of little tchotchkes to kind of fit in there. And to me, it's like putting um, pieces of the puzzle together. <laughs> I'm like, wait, does it fit good this way? Does it look good that way? And I just overthink it. So I don't do t uh, tiered trays. I just, it's not my thing. And so anyway, I knew I was gonna use these as risers. I'm going to be putting my cage lamps on these to elevate them. You guys, my apologies for the lighting. We're having a rainy day today. So I'm hoping you'll be able to kind of see okay. But anyway, what I like about the little feet on this, it's similar to the, the wood color in the frame. And it kind of picks up that as well. Okay, next I have these cute cage lamps. I also found it Home Goods a while back and they've got these big um, Edison bulbs in them. I didn't even have to buy them. They came with them, which was a plus. I'm going to plug these in and they're going to sit right on top of each riser. just by adding those lights kind of elevated it to a whole new look. It gives it that beautiful cozy glow. And at night, the way the Edison bulbs um, warm up the sign with the light that kind of shines on it, it's just so pretty. I really, really love it. Next, I'm gonna be adding this um, beautiful garland. And I am finding that this is becoming my top garland. I usually like the real wispy one that I showed in Wednesday's video that was on my dress, dresser mirror. I love this one, number one, because it is much less expensive. It's only um, $13.99, I believe, regular price. And so if you can get it 50% off, it's a really good deal for what you get. It's still wispy and it's just, it's not as drapey as the other one. But if you're not going for a real drapey look and you're going for more of a wispy look, this is, this is the garland for you. And really all I'm gonna do is lay it across just to give a little texture and a pop of green. only other thing I'm going to add is this, and it's this big trunk. And all I'm going to do is set it down below. Why? To conceal the cords. That's it. Okay, it's kind of funny because for days I've been thinking to myself, that basket on the bottom, it just needs a little something. It's too, for me, it's too boring and plain. I know, I don't know when to stop myself. So I just ran out to the garage and this is what I've come so up I with. So I am loving a pop of green. And I have this, I brought this from the log home. I have two of them, but... I don't necessarily want the white. I want something that's a little more robust. As you can see over here, 
The railing that goes upstairs is dark. So I thought, let's tie in a darker color, hence this, and let's put this in the basket. Now I went looking to see if I had some sort of like burlap that I could wrap around this and kind of have uh, cover this, like wrap it in burlap and kind of have it like cascade out a little bit. I don't have any. So the white you will see just like this, but I'm okay. This kind of gives me the look I was looking for and it brings in a bit of warmth and texture. The doorbell just rang and my rug finally came. I saw this rug on Amazon. Actually, there was one I liked a little bit better, but it was way more expensive. So I opted for the less expensive one because I am a bargain shopper. And it came and I'm so excited to put it in the entryway because this is really going with the vibe and look I'm going for here in the house. I'm gonna take it out and show you. So it came packaged very nicely and um, it was like double packaged. I took the outer one off um, and now I just need to cut this off, but I just wanted to show so you. I know just because of the way it was rolled, it's probably gonna have to be, I don't know, uh, smushed down with some furniture or something, but oh my goodness, I love it. I'm going to put this by the front door. I think it is, it's unique and I love it. Wait till you see my coffee table. It's different. You guys, look how cute it is. I literally, I don't even have to put any furniture on it after all. It literally, I plopped it down and it went right into place. I love it. I might have to order more of these. You know what would look really pretty is the ivory one in my master bedroom somewhere in there. I don't know, I love this. If any of you like this rug, I'm gonna link it below for you. Highly recommend. I really, really like this one. And it's soft. I was expecting it to be super scratchy. It's actually soft. Let me get closer for you. Yeah, it's really soft, I'm shocked. On the reviews, I saw people, they were hanging these on their wall. They used them on um, like a big dining room table as the focal point. And then they were adding them like with cute chairs. When I ordered that rug, I initially wanted the ivory one because I thought the ivory one would really pop with the, uh, the flooring we have here, but now that I see this color, I'm glad I went with it because it matches um, a cabinet I have next to the front door. We will work on that next week and you'll see it all tie together, but um, I love it. Highly recommend. <laughs> Now, I know my last two videos were long ones, so I think I'll give you a break today and give you a shorter video. Um, but I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me this week. For all of your lovely comments, it means a lot. And I hope you guys have a fabulous week and come back and see me next week. We're gonna be back to lots more decorating. I'll see you then. Mwah. Love you guys. <laughs>